Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Game and Mike, and today we're going to be doing some uh, Brink weapon kind of demo stuff. Uh, basically the idea is uh, I'll show you kind of what my loadout is today and just kind of generally describe what I'm going to be doing and show you a little bit of gameplay. I'm going to try to get through the challenges uh, to show you those. And basically my idea is I'm going to take one weapon and I'm going to play it through just completely unmodded and then I'm going to mod it basically see what I think is wrong with the weapon 40 years ago, I'll shut up so you can watch we started building the ark and then it was an experiment a and dream, made out of paper a self-sustaining city of the future but then the seas rose we were forced to relocate but still our floating ark became a refuge for tens of thousands. That's a lot. To maintain order, Just say no. the ark was divided. Yeah. Also, you do and not want to live in the path of the giant wall they built. It's generally, generally bad. The ark is wearing out. No new ship or plane has been seen in 20 years. The new guests live in slums. That's air the quotes, guests. First. Guests. Some have formed a resistance that vows to seize power and search for life outside the Ark. Ark's security force says we must have order to survive. So will you save the Ark or escape it? So I haven't even played on this profile yet. I have another profile that I've been playing through and I'm really digging the game. Um, I'm going to start with Save the Ark, just because I think a lot of their stuff looks cleaner. You will resolve the situation peacefully and solve this unrest without the court to unnecessary violence. Lethal force is a last, not a first option. Any and all civilian casualties will result in your immediate dismissal. Not barbarians, Captain Makueta. You, of all people, should remember that. I've had meetings like that, I'm not gonna lie. Also, this dude's name is almost Macarena, which I thought was hilarious. Men, for the Ark to survive, we must have order. We must save the Ark! I feel like he, if he was playable, he would just run around and punch dudes in the face. So we get to, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen all of this, all the different options for how you look. Um, pretty cool. None of these, my first time around, none of the faces really appear appeal to me. Uh, they all kind of freaked me out a bit. I think I was just going to do the sensei just because he's super ugly. And that's as close as you can get to my skin tone without being translucent. So we're going to try to do that. I don't even know. That dude just bugs me. Fair enough. I don't know. We'll go with the. Uh, no, I'm like a Ryan McCluskey. Alright, we're all done. Everything's permanent. Yes, indeed. That's me. Your first character always looks like he's about to box somebody. Um, so if you guys haven't seen that yet, you better get used to him pretty much challenging you every time you turn on your machine. We are not going to watch the video because it is long. Um, and then right away, sorry, I'm going through this really quick. Uh, from the top, campaign, free play, challenges, which is what we'll be doing to start off. Characters and weapons, which is where you'll probably spend most of your time, other than actually, you know, playing the game. Dossier, options, down DLC, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go characters and weapons, we're going to go appearance, uh, just kind of run through some of the stuff that's unlocked in the beginning. Um, let's see, you start with very limited selection, tank, receding, buzz cut, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to throw 
something together. You know, really, we'll work this out later. Here's what's really important. The weapons. So I'm just going to go through. I bought one of the... Uh, I pre-ordered through Amazon, so I start with the suppressor, which is the exact same as the silencer, if the tooltip ever goes away. Go away, little tooltip. Nothing. Okay. Let's try that again. Anyway, uh, it just looks, it does the exact same thing as the silencer, you just get it from the start. Um, I also got the crazy... Um, crazy mask that looks like the scarecrow from Batman for my uh, for my resistance character. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm basically just gonna run through this list uh, and play them all without any mods and just kind of talk about how they play, how they how they feel, um, and then uh, basically. I'm then going to mod them, and then I'll play around with the modded version and see what I think. Um, and that's how the videos are going to be. So, uh, I'm going to start with the Drognav light rifle and the cult pistol. Um, so that's what that's going to be. Uh, abilities, I don't have any abilities yet because I just started the guy. Um, from my experience, I really enjoy playing the two really heavy support classes, which is Medic and Engineer. Um, I do really well with those. I'm, I'm, a, I'm generally supportive as a person, I suppose, is what that means. Or not, who knows. Anyway, um, preferred class, I'm going to be doing the, uh, uh, the challenges anyway, so they kind of hard set what your, what your uh, class is, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then I think for the rest of the video, I'll just kind of run through uh, all, the, uh, all the gear that I have right now. Um, just kind of customize my dude. And then next video we'll sh we'll show off the the Druganov, drug nav whatever. Um, so body tattoo it had the exclamation point so I went and clicked on it because that means you got something new. Um, I don't know if you can see but the bottom one is the tortured soul tattoo, uh, which is the one you get from uh, f from the prior um, from the pre order. Sorry, just completely lost my train of thought there, which is not hard to do. Um, so yeah, sure, sure, sweatband, body type, we haven't unlocked any body types yet, um, but that's what I'll look heavy, and that's what I look light, looks like I just need a cheeseburger, really, um, let me see, head, we got any face gear, good cop, uh, no, we can do a bunch of tattoos or scars, um, generally on my... Uh, on my what are these guys called? Not the resistance. Security. Sorry. Completely again lost my train of thought. Um, on the security side I generally keep my guy either with a helmet or a mask on um, and then I usually take one off and then I'll put on like a face tattoo or a scar for my resistance character just because they look all crazy. So I just backed out of there. I'm not putting anything on right now. Um, facial hair right now is just stubble. I guess as you uh, as you play more, you can start actually figuring out you know what you want to do. Um, you have you have more options for uh, for facial hair, uh, more style, I guess, and adhesive bandages on the face. I don't know who would get that cut unless you're like going face first to play class. Anyway, uh, next video is going to be actually some shooting. So see you guys then.